Hello everyone, I'm back with the Johanna Basford Secret Garden Artist Edition coloring book. Um, if you've watched my previous video, I just did a flip through of the Johanna Basford Secret Garden coloring book, which you can kind of see it stacked on top of the other book. Just the size difference between the, this is the coloring book, and then this one is the artist edition of the Secret Garden book. I can tell you that the Secret Garden coloring book is $15.95 retail. Um, I know that you can sometimes find these books at Michael's or Joann's, and um, I'm not sure if you can use a coupon on them or not. You can also order them off of Amazon online. Um, you can find them just about anywhere. Um, so I can tell you that the artist edition is obviously it's bigger um, and it does cost a little bit more. It retails for $22.50. Um, but here's the cool thing about this and here's why I bought the artist edition even though I had the original coloring book. Um, sometimes because the paper is so thin with the coloring books that if you're using if you're using markers that bleed through or if you're using watercolors and you've used um, you used multiple layers of color, sometimes it can bleed through to the back and you might not be able to use or color the back page of that specific coloring page. Um, one of the reasons why I bought this specifically is the way that it's set up. There are 20 drawings to color and frame as she's said on here. Um, ag again, I have noted the larger size, um, but I want to also note the thickness of paper. You can see how, you can physically see the thickness of the paper. You can hear it. It's like a thicker um, cardstock, which is really great for using di different types of media. Um, so this one obviously is only 20 drawings. The coloring book is um, front to back with um, multiple drawing so I think it just depends on maybe what you're interested in um, using your coloring books for um, I cannot wait to frame some of these and put them in my studio and here's here's an, another example of why I purchased this book um, I love the size of this I love that um, I can make a collage between this and maybe some of my other postcards that I've colored to look like works, works of art but again it's um, there's nothing on the back. She includes, um, she includes like a little drawing if you're wanting to, you know, doodle something on the back. But if you're using um, watercolor or um, maybe you're using sharpies on this or whatever, um, if you're using those specific things on these pages, if it bleeds through, it's not a big deal because there's nothing on this back page for you to worry about. And again, it's the thicker paper. Um, so it gives you the 20 pictures of her, of her, um, images from the Secret Garden book. I'm, I'm guessing these are probably her favorite images from the Secret Garden book, but this is the difference between the artist edition and the coloring book edition. So again, it's, it's detailed just like the coloring book. The difference is the thicker paper, um, and the ability to maybe use, uh, maybe use wet media on here, whether you're using watercolors or maybe you're using watercolor crowns or watercolor coloring pencils. Whatever it is that you're using, um, you would be able to use on this paper. Um, if you'd like for me to do a, like a tutorial um, of me coloring um, bits and pieces of these of these pictures, I would be happy to do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below if that's something that interests you. Um, I did pick this up. I picked this book up at Michael's today. Um, so I, I haven't seen it there before. I've actually only seen this book online before today. Um, and so I know when I saw it today that, um, that it would already go in my cart because I have I knew of this book and I knew that there was um, that there was an artist edition of The Secret Garden, but I had never seen it in a store that was close to me. Um, it would have been an online purchase up until today, up until I found it at um, my local Michaels. So just, I love, I love that it's the bigger pages. I love that, um, that there's no picture on the back. I love that I don't have to worry about 
if it's going to bleed through if I get it too wet will it tear the page if I you know there's lots of bonuses to the thicker paper to the larger paper to having the artist edition and even the coloring book edition um, if you're like me and you want to if you want to try different different types of media different types of techniques this is the perfect book um, to use and to try those different techniques in simply because it has the thicker paper. So again, just really cool detailed photos, detailed pictures, just like her Secret Garden coloring book. I just love every single one of these. And how cool will this look framed on your wall once you're done taking your time and coloring these pages and seeing how detailed each and every single one of these um, pictures are framing those and putting them on the wall and showing that, you know, hey, I took the time, I colored that. Um, or, hey, I took the time and maybe it took you five hours to color one page, but you look back and you see it on your wall and you think, hey, I really did have a great time or a fun time coloring that specific page or remember when we did this. Um, so that's just a short flip through of the Secret Garden Artist Edition. Again, um, I have the Secret Garden Coloring Book and the Artist Edition both. So it's kind of up to you what you're interested in. Um, I don't know if she has Artist Editions of all of her books. I've only seen, obviously, I've only seen the Artist Edition of the Secret Garden Book. Again, she does have the gold foiling on the on the cover of this as well. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. If you guys are working in a specific coloring book, leave me a comment. Um, link the book that you're working in below and um, be sure to let me know that if you guys um, are wanting me to work in or pick up a specific coloring book, maybe it's something that you've heard of, um, but I haven't. I'd love to hear that too. Um, so stay tuned. I'll be doing flip throughs of Johanna Basford's other three coloring books. So those will be coming up shortly. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.